what is going on guys we're here with another over prime video how is everyone doing today i hope you are having a wonderful christmas break um i myself have i've eaten so many good so many good meals i feel like the last week more so than on christmas itself um so yeah and spent a lot of money which i shouldn't have done but uh, here we are um, so today we're going to be making a guide, basically. Uh, a very general guide for newer players, so if you guys are already aware of what a MOBA is, this probably won't help you that much. It'll get you kind of understanding what a MOBA is more so than how Overprime works. But I'll tell you kind of some of the objectives in Overprime as well, that and where the game is more, how it's paced a little bit more. Um, so if you are looking for a little bit of tips and tricks in this video, that maybe even if you're not new, um, uh, do give it a watch and if you do enjoy the video, please drop a subscribe would really appreciate it um, I'm trying to hit a thousand hopefully within the next month. You guys are blowing me away with your support Thank you so much, and I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas All right with that out of the way. Let's make this I want to make this a shorter guide It's gonna be like I said a very general one, so it's not gonna be anything too intense um, Now I won't be explaining every little tiny thing about a MOBA um, if you guys need to know the ins and outs of how to like basically farm last hit hit things basically um, how towers work go play the tutorial there's three tutorials when you get in they'll make you do one you can leave it don't leave it do it and then do the other two if you're brand new to a MOBA just do those three tutorials they will teach you basically how minions work how towers work how to buy with the item shop um, how does you know spend your gold and stuff uh, how to build items um, they'll basically teach you all that stuff but I'll explain kind of what you're supposed to be doing from my experience over 300 hours so far um the game being out what like two weeks a little over two weeks now um, i'll explain my experience of what i've learned and everything and kind of in future videos but like i said this video is more of a general introduction to moba guide so what is a moba a moba is a multiplayer online battle arena that's what it stands for there are three lanes um as you can see here there's three lanes you have um, a bunch of random uh, dots in the map. Those dots are minions or, or camps or, or jungle monsters, depending on the buff. Um, and then you have heroes, five heroes each, fighting for objectives, towers. Your goal is to destroy the core at the top or the bottom. Um, it's always going to be at the top. It's a mirrored map, so you're always going to see the buffs lined up in a certain way, except for the yellow and the purple, and the side buffs as well, the purple and the green. Um, the cores will always be the core enemy core will always be at the top your core will always be at the bottom your goal is to defend your core while attacking their core um as a team a 5v5 uh, use different heroes to accomplish this there are i believe six roles in the game there's warrior tank uh assassin um caster ranger and support so there's six roles in the game and each person fills a specific role generally on a team you're going to have one caster um you're going to have one tank you're going to have one assassin or jungle uh you're going to have a ranger and a support that's generally how it goes there are off roles there are different things you can play we're not going to go over any of that in this video but just know there are other things you can do now um obviously your goal is to take the tower there is only one tower there isn't two like other MOBAs. so you destroy a tower you want to destroy all three towers um, and then you go for the uh, core, uh, like any other MOBA, it's basically a faster paced MOBA in a way. Most games will end under 30 minutes, especially in ranked, um, unless they're hardcore defending. Um, if your team is organized, you're getting the orb, getting objectives, you're pretty much at the game within 30 minutes. There's nothing that can stop you. They did lower the, or there was an issue with respawn timers. Respawn timers give you enough time to end the game in a pretty reasonable amount of time. Usually my average game time is like 25 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how good and bad I'm doing. Sometimes I have those 40 minute games, but very rare on average, you know, again, 300 games, it's usually about 30 minutes, 35 minutes max. So, yep, that is usually the kind of game, pay, the game time. Uh, like I said, go play the tutorial. Please, like I said, if you want to learn how to last hit and stuff, your goal is to push means into towers, um, last hit them, stuff like that. And yeah, basically, when you start a match, you'll build a starter, right? Um, you, you just load in, you'll build a starter. There are, I believe, six starters. There is a uh, two, two ranger starters. There is a, a solo starter, which is green. There is a support starter, which is yellow. There is a jungle starter, which is called destroyer stone. And then there is a mage starter, which is blue. Um, I'm not going to say recommend you which ones to build, but just know mostly if you build the one that's recommended to you, it's probably a good idea. Honestly, when you start, just follow the recommended build. You're just starting out. I think you'll be fine. You don't need the perfect build. You don't need to play the perfect lane, the perfect role. Even if you get stomped, just learn in the game. Like, don't focus on builds. Focus on just getting, on understanding the game more and getting better at playing the game. 
then you can understand stuff like map awareness, um, how, how the game is paced, rotation, stuff like that. Those are all more complex things. Um, they apply to every other single MOBA. So if you know, if you played another MOBA, they apply here as well. It's the same thing, except it's a little bit more action oriented. There's a lot of fighting in this game. Um, it's a very fast paced game. Um, you still want to farm, but you want to fight a lot. And I mean a lot. Uh, there's going to be a lot of rotating, a lot of fighting. Uh, just a lot of like, you know, a lot of engagement, which is really nice if you like high action gameplay This is definitely the game for you. There is a lot of just combat all the time pretty much going off everywhere It's really fun. Um, it's really fast as well There is a sprint mode if you hit shift you can sprint you can run um, if you get hit while you're sprinting you get rooted So you don't want to be sprinting because again, there is a penalty to doing that. It's like a, a 1.5 second startup time Yeah, it's like I said really fast paced game really fun um, for the starters, like I said, you build a starter, uh, you can upgrade it if you want, but personally I would just avoid upgrading it, it's just a waste of gold, as of this making of this video, they might change that in the future, again, um, that's why I'm not going to talk build strategies, it's just a general mobile guide, you build your starter, you go to lane, if you're a carry or a ranger, you'll go to the duo lane, which is indicated on the map by the purple buff, um, it, like I said, it can, it's not always one lane, it can be left or right, it's never going to be in the middle if you're a ranger, so you go to the carry lane, um, if you're a support, you'll go to the carry lane or the dual lane as well, you'll, you'll basically be with them almost the entire game, just be, be by their side, um, you'll learn about rotations and stuff later on, but for the most part, just stick next to your carry if you're playing support, um, it's really, really, like, that's basically what I feel like you should do. Especially if you're just starting off mid lane your caster go mid you go straight down the lane um, Usually you build like I said the blue buff and you go there um, Same thing as any other MOBA clear late clear wave push beans into tower rotate when you can go back buy items Etc. Like it's the exact same as any other MOBA nothing different um, And then solo lane you'll go to the solo side of the map and then you'll be um where the green buff is indicated again by the green buff in the far right or left depending on where you're, you're uh, you are in the map and you'll be finding a 1v1 you have to watch out for ganks be careful this is like the gank lane and most of the time people love ganking solo because you're by yourself it's harder to get away um yeah so uh you'll be fighting a 1v1 this is more for i feel like beginners but also experienced players if people don't know how to play you can just play safe but if you also you know how to play you can really dominate and rotate and be a super super powerful force and then jungle is a very experienced role i don't recommend if you're new playing jungle just kind of ignore it uh, but if you do play jungle just know uh build destroyer stone it's just kind of the way to you know you have to build it it's just if you don't build destroyer stone you should not be in the jungle it's possible to do it without it but you're losing a lot of damage you're taking a lot more time to clear camps you're taking a lot more damage you have no healing you have no objective steal just do not go jungle if you do not have a blessing if you pick jungle and th then just know you have to take destroyer stone there is no other option um the game pace the game pace like i said is very high high action uh, first 10 minutes of the game you could say is laning phase you lane you rotate I think you're supposed to rotate early what I like to do in mid specifically it, uh, is I'll clear my first wave and I'll instantly rotate to left or right um, mid feels like a, a second jungle to me personally in this game feels really nice most of the time though you'll just be laning especially in more casual or if you're new um, you'll just be laning so clear your wave back get your item clear your wave back get your item Watch out for the enemies leaving the lane. If you see your enemy show up somewhere else, try and go over there. But again, if you're new, don't worry too much about rotations. Just try to understand the feel of the game. Again, you're new. Um, really, no one should blame you. Uh, I've crapped on a lot of new players before, and I feel bad for it, honestly, because, you know, I found out, oh, they're new. No, they don't say anything. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Start typing in chat. I know they might shit on you a little bit. You might get some shitters, but you, you'll only learn by asking. If you don't know what you're doing and you played 10 games and you still don't know what you're doing, you should just start asking. Well, go watch streams, videos, YouTubes, analyze their gameplay. Um, the game can be really fun if you know what you're doing. Like I said, most people, you know, I feel like will start picking it up, though, after the first five, ten games. It's not that hard of a video game. Um, it's also a lot of knowledge. You get to know what characters do. I can't really instill that into anyone. Like, this game, you have to understand what other characters do to do good. That's like any other MOBA. League, same way. Smite, same way. If you don't know what anyone does, you're probably not going to have that good of a time as someone who knows what everyone does because they're aware and they can play around it so that's not something i can teach you um you just have to go learn you have to go fight people and learn um i can give you tips and tricks in the video of how to counter and how to uh, you know beat people um in specific guides for certain characters but that's just how it works but yeah very fast-paced game rotate a lot 
uh, go to different lanes, kill towers, push minions, make sure you're defending your core, watch your towers, don't just let minions hit your tower freely, kill the minions, um, try not to push up too far and just take damage all the time, just play safe if you don't know what you're doing, it's not bad if they push you into your tower, just don't feed and die, you don't want to be the guy, even if you're new, that goes 0-17 because you don't know what you're doing, just play safe, take it slow, sit back in your tower, understand how how to aim your abilities you know like try and learn how to aim your abilities properly um focus on clearing the wave then when your team shows up that's when you can you can act you can, you can try and kill the other person hopefully they can take care of it for you throw your abilities at them a big game tip though is do not use your abilities on the wave as of right now in the making of this video this might change in the future um you can use like one ability on the wave maybe but for the most part you can just auto it down and hit the enemy um no real reason to waste all of your you know everyone's mana hungry if you build a lot of mana you could but like there's no real reason to just keep throwing your abilities in the wave just auto it um again this might change in the future so if you guys are watching this video check the date because this could change but that is a big tip i feel like a lot of people misconstrue uh this with other mobas where you have to use abilities you do not have to use your abilities if your wave gets pushed into your tower that is fine you have all of your mana to fight the other mage while they don't just auto it and hit and hit the abilities that's what i would recommend even as a carry or anything else depending sometimes i'll hit the wave with my abilities too um especially if my mid laner rotates somewhere else just to clear it faster but if you're fighting them and they're in your lane there's no reason just hit them with your abilities it's like i said it's a very high action game you're supposed to be fighting all the time um i feel like this was an intended decision as of right now this might change like i said but in the roles um like i said if you like tanks soul lane if you like tanky characters and uh games just play soul lane um you can play jungle but again very high experience i think for new players um soul lane is the way to go you get to kind of free farm be safe troll your team without them really without really trolling them uh again new players the game player base at the moment isn't extremely high so you are getting a lot of new players but you're also getting a lot of experienced players so uh definitely definitely take it slow play soul lane if you want to be a tank if you like taking a lot of damage build the recommended uh, you can be able to play tank or warrior. Most of those builds are very tanky, but again, if you're in the solo lane, try and look, just hit the physical defense and magical defense, or hit the physical defense on the side when you hit the item shop, and then pick all those items that look good to you, that sound good. High-end armor is a popular one. Um, Zimia's toy is the best one. I think you should first item that if you're a tank or a warrior. Pretty much basically how solo lane works. Um, you just want to be a massive tank. In mid lane, um again these items could all change they can go tomorrow they could all be nerfed but um i would recommend building teardrop first uh spirits teardrop and then go into cultist blow second which is a an, another mage item so you hit the magical power tab go into cultist blow and teardrop um as soon as you get the goal to do so and like i said this is this is a very complicated lane in my opinion i feel like this is not good for new players because you get right there's you're going to be fighting the most but if you like the high action then do it um, I think the safest role to play though is carry. I think in carry lane, um, you'll just build your red or gray starter. Uh, you'll build your crit usually first. Um, I like to go ally crossbow first. If you're watching this video as of the time it's making, it's really strong, really strong item to go. It makes you beat your other matchups. Then go right into your three crit. Um, I'm not again. I'm not going to go too in depth in the items or anything. But again, this is a safe lane. You have someone to keep you safe. You have a support. They'll stun. They'll slow. They'll sometimes be a tank. Um, it's really nice to have them in your in your lane because you get to focus on actually playing the game. Um, but they also have that advantage as well. It's a lot safer than playing any other role probably. So I recommend uh, if you're new, starting in duo, carry or, or support really isn't that bad. It doesn't really matter. At least as a carry, you'll feel like you're always doing something. Um, versus like every other role because even as a, a tank you could feel like you're doing nothing as a mid lane You could feel like you're doing nothing and then as a jungle you could really mess up really bad and feel like you're doing absolutely nothing So I think dual lane playing a support or a carry is probably the safest bet if you're new I recommend starting there then rotating it over the other lanes If you can't get support or carry just go solo in my opinion And then if you can't get solo go mid and then jungle is the last thing you should do because if you don't know what you're doing It's very very detrimental <laughs> Um, there are 27 different heroes. The way to buy heroes is by using Renar. If you go to the main menu, there's a gold currency called Renar. Um, you get that by playing every game. You get 30 a game, and then you get 10 for losing, uh, 30 for winning. So uh, there are bonus weekends apparently that give you 50, but I still am getting, I feel like I'm getting 30 as of Tuesday, uh, today making this video. So yeah, it's very odd. I feel like that's just 
it was a one-time thing but that might come back i don't know i i don't i don't think i think it was glitched it was happening all week i was getting 50 all week and then it went to back to 30 so i'm not sure what's up with that so generally you'll be getting 30 per win and 10 per loss it's not that much and you also get uh weeklies and dailies like any other you know login game or whatever um you get 500 for the weekly and you get 300 every single day so at least if you want if you even if you're playing the game casually and you like the characters just log in do do what it tells you to do then log out you know if you have like two hours to play a day you'll knock it out in no time um it, like i said it's just it's super simple super easy and even when you hit level five if you honestly i'd recommend getting a level 10 before you play ranked at level five you're able to play ranked um as of the making of this video they do give you free characters in the mail so if it's before january 9th you can if you hit your mail uh there's three different mails that give you this they also give you free, they also gave you free renar um, as well as like, just free characters uh, click on the characters you get I believe it was 11 free characters there's a lot of different type of characters in there definitely make sure if you're watching this video if you have not downloaded the game yet to download the game to get 11 free characters because the grind later on is probably going to be pretty rough if they don't give these characters away uh, there's probably going to be more systems in the game for earning Renar but as of right now like I said uh, it's just it's a pretty slow process so getting all your characters unlocked and getting that boost of uh characters out, off the you know start there is a rotation as well free rotation these cannot be played in rank they can only be played in quick play so though the free rotation of characters will only be available to you in that quick play format but you'll probably have access to almost every single character in the game choose what you like if they you know if you think some character looks cool or you like their kit uh just play them uh, if you're in the lane that you can if you don't get the lane that you want like if you don't get a carry I'd recommend not playing a carry in solo. You could probably play one in mid, but if you get mid, like I said, play a mage. Just try to lock in your role as soon as you can. Type in chat, say, hey, I want to play this role. I'm new. Can I, can I just have it? Maybe they'll give it to you. If they don't, just play, you know, whatever. Play whatever else looks cool. Um, but yeah, and then, like I said, your goal, just take the game slow, push the minions. Once you get to the tower, you destroy the tower, play with your team, watch your team, try to stick next to your team. Um, the strongest ally is going to be your team the entire time. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore the objectives in this video. It's not that important. Just focus on learning the game and then you'll destroy the core eventually or they'll surrender. <laughs> you can surrender at 15 minutes, by the way, if you really feel like you're not having a good time. If you hit escape, you go down, request surrender is on one of those options. Click it. Uh, you click it every, I think, 20 or 30 seconds. So, yep. Anyways. That's pretty much it. Uh, I know this guide wasn't too in depth or anything. This is literally just explaining what a MOBA is. It's like a, again, it's a five v five hero fighter. There you go. Um, I hope that was insightful. It's not anything too in depth. I will be making lane guides specifically coming out soon. Those will be a lot more in depth, explaining what lanes, uh, where you go for each lane, uh, and how to play those lanes basically. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, sorry about the free form. I didn't really know how to make this guide. Uh, it's just again it's a MOBA this is what a MOBA is I love it it's very high pace it's much more high pace than any other MOBA that I played personally so it's very high action um, so again like I said if you like that kind of thing then definitely get into the game and yes like I said play the tutorial take it slow and you'll be good all right anyways I hope you guys enjoyed I will see you guys in the next video um, which will probably be a VOD upload and I'll be doing a guide um, like I said I'll be doing lane guides as well as character guides so look out for those and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas to you guys. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.